Thanks for joining us today. Would you get a look at this strange little structure? It's actually owned by a rocket scientist, and that's verifiable. It's not made of brick. It's not made of stone. In fact, it's made of what's called expanded polyurethane. And for those of you that don't have a phone handy to Google it, that's basically styrofoam. Yeah, you heard me right. This, this thing is a giant styrofoam dome constructed in pieces such as we see here. It was actually shipped over from Asia and it's surprisingly strong and once coated with a certain paint, it's pretty durable. Here you're going to see some of the model homes that are constructed using this style. And these things are just cranking off the assembly line in Japan and other parts of Asia. In fact, this is a preferred building material by the Japanese government due to its durability to water and its ability to sustain earthquakes. The building has laid dormant since 2012 and has gone through a few phases of construction since then. One of the longer ones was this one that gave it the name the R2-D2 house for its resemblance to the character we know and love from Star Wars. From what I gather, it has a significant basement underneath, one that extends a little bit beyond the dome. The property is currently for lease as office space. However, some of the neighbors believe there is someone living in here, and I have no reason to doubt them. Even though it's for lease, this doesn't mean it's not owner-occupied, but there's some signs of life. The neighbors have noticed these paintings here on the windows, uh, and some improvements such as this new fresh white stuccoing here. The building has been quite a few things over the years. It's been a church for a brief period, it's been a residence, but its primary purpose was the satellite office of Astrox Corporation. A doctor by the name of Aj Kathar had it built for just this purpose. And Aj isn't your everyday run-of-the-mill doctor. He is literally a doctorate of engineering and a verified rocket scientist. The man is very accomplished. He holds advanced degrees in things I can barely pronounce. He's worked on a number of projects uh, through NASA, the Armed Forces, McDonnell Douglas, which is now called Boeing. Um, gosh, he acts on community organizations both globally and domestically. Um, the guy's a very, very well-known individual. Aj's company, Astrox Corp., it's a privately owned professional engineering company. It's based out of College Park, Maryland. In other words, it's a group of programmers and rocket scientists, quite literally. According to Bloomberg, though, they only employ between one to four people. So this is an incredibly profitable company. And here's a photo of the building while they were still occupying it. You can really see not much has changed. If you were to Google Astrox Corp, you'll see this picture right above their company name. You'll also see a lot of news articles recently written by Aj, the president of the company. And if you dive a little bit deeper into some of their government funding, you'll see that this company was flush in cash. On this one particular project alone, that's required to report what was given since its inception in 1986, they received anywhere from $100,000 to $800,000 in grant funding. It leaves me to wonder why this building is falling apart. You'll see here where people are boring in and actually putting handholds here to climb up the building. And this is just the start. Soon it will be vandalized further than this. And I really do hate to see that. It's a shame to see something like this begin to fall into ruin. It's such a strange commodity and building material here in the States, and it is gonna be here for a long time. It's very durable. Let's hope this property falls into good management and sees better days. Thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe.